Hey basketball fans, Harrison Graham here from Chat Sports bringing you today's edition of NBA Now and there is a lot going on right now as we have breaking news the Phoenix Suns have snatched the Lakers top target Monty Williams as their next head coach have agreed to a five year deal. Williams currently an assistant with the Philadelphia 76ers will remain with the team until they are eliminated from the playoffs. He, of course, was a finalist for the Lakers job, one of the top two candidates of the, as the Lakers close in on their next head coach. Kind of a bizarre and uncomfortable situation if you were in Lakerland as Monty Williams is choosing to head to Phoenix without before the Lakers even make a final decision. Now they must shift gears. Teron Liu is certainly going to be at the top of their coaching search. A couple of other candidates to look at, and we'll get to some of those names in just a minute. But today's show is brought to you by Wager Talk, best service in the game, providing you with expert picks and predictions for all games going on in sports. Perfect for the NBA playoffs. Go to wagertalk.com slash chat sports to make some money today. Now, before we get to these coaching candidates for the Lakers, rough times in Los Angeles. You look at the last six years, worst cumulative record in the NBA in that time. Magic Johnson abruptly resigns last month as the team's president. And now you've got Monty Williams choosing to head to Phoenix. That has been a dumpster fire of an organization for a long time now before the Lakers even make a final decision. A bad look on top of that, Luke Walton's tenure did not go well with the Lakers, well below 500. Very important that the Lakers make the proper hire here moving forward. I'm going to ask you guys with this Monty Williams news, your reaction to him choosing to head to Phoenix before the Lakers even make a decision on their head coach. Because, again, he was one of their top two candidates as they close in on a head coach. Type V for very worried, N for not worried. I wouldn't say I'm very worried if I'm a Lakers fan. But it's a little concerning. Phoenix has been a mess. So again, V for very worried, N for or not worried on Monty Williams choosing to head to Phoenix. Now, I've got four head coaching candidates for the Lakers. One is going to be obvious. We'll get to him in just a moment. But number four, Mark Jackson. I'm surprised he. First of all, I'm surprised he's not a head coach in the NBA right now. He had success with the Warriors, 121 and 109 in his three seasons there has not been interviewed by the Lakers whereas these other three candidates have helped develop Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Klay Thompson. I think there's a mix in NBA circles on whether or not he actually got the best out of those guys but when they were younger he helped them develop into becoming stars in this league and maybe you know he could do the same with Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, some of these other guys. I think he's certainly a guy that the Lakers should consider. Number three I've got Jason Kidd. Not great so far in his career as an NBA head coach, you look at how Milwaukee has been ever since he left uh, the Bucks. Obviously, they have taken off with Giannis. He would lick his chops at the opportunity to coach another superstar, and LeBron James even spoke to that last month. This coaching candidate in Jason Kidd has lost steam since Magic Johnson resigned. I know Magic was high on Jay Kidd, not so much now. So he's kind of a distant third for the Lakers in terms of head coaching candidates. Top two guys, number two, Jawan Howard. This one doesn't quite compute with me. I get that he played with LeBron in Miami. He's been an assistant in Miami since 2013, been learning under uh, Eric Spolster, who's a good head coach in this league, but he hasn't been an NBA head coach. Certainly hadn't coached LeBron James. He is thought of in NBA circles though. So look, Jawan Howard, I think it, he's an intriguing name. I think he's a future NBA head coach. Again, did play with LeBron James in Miami for several years. I, to me, though, that is not enough to have that guy be the head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. This is the Lakers we're talking about. Props to Juan Howard. Keep climbing up the coaching ranks. If I'm L.A., though, I cannot possibly hire Juwan Howard as my next head coach. I just can't. Moving to the top candidate, Teron Liu. We know the history, guys. Head coach for the Cavs with LeBron James, brought Cleveland their first championship a few years ago. Good head coaching record there. Obviously got fired six games into this season with an 0-6 start. Look, Teron Liu, LeBron James, we know LeBron prefers Liu. He's spoken to that. He preferred Lou over Williams. Williams is no longer an option now. 
Three straight finals as the head coach of the Cavaliers. Maybe there's a possibility he gives you a better opportunity of bringing a guy like Kyrie Irving on board. So I, I, clearly he's the top candidate. Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN said as much that he expects the Lakers to move forward with Teron Liu. It's still tricky though that if, look, the purple and gold, their best by far option is Teron Liu. That's where we are with the Lakers. I already mentioned the last six years have not been pretty. Worst record in the NBA. This has been a mess since Kobe Bryant's career ended and even before then. It's just not been good. I'll ask you guys, who do you want the next Lakers head coach to be? Do you want it to be Ty Lue? Do you want it to be someone else? Jason Kidd, I think he's an intriguing candidate. I think he could help Lonzo Ball. We talked about him a little bit earlier. Juwan Howard, he's certainly a guy that the Lakers have been impressed with. So I'll ask you guys, you can do it in the YouTube comment section. So here are my top three coaching candidates for the Lakers. And again, if you're just joining us, Monty Williams been hired by the Sun. So now these are kind of the three names you're looking at. Ty Lue, clear front runner. The report is that the Lakers are going to move forward with him. Juwan Howard, they were impressed with his interview. I'm not sure he's ready to go from an assistant to be the head coach of the Lakers. That's a big leap. Jason Kidd, he's that number three guy. So one more time, I'll ask you guys, who do you want the next Lakers head coach to be? Is there another name out there? I mentioned Mark Jackson as well. I think he should get more consideration, but the Lakers haven't interviewed him as of yet. Maybe that changes in the coming days. I don't see it though. I want you guys to comment below in the comment section. Breaking news, as I already mentioned though, Phoenix has hired Monty Williams. He will not be an option, so I want to hear from you guys. More Lakers rumors. Could Masai Ujiri be the next Lakers president replacing Magic Johnson? As I mentioned earlier, Magic resigned abruptly a couple of weeks ago. Ujiri has been linked to this job. Report is they share mutual interests, Ujiri and the Lakers do. He's been the Raptors president since 2013. Six straight playoff appearances. Look, I know playoff Toronto has been kind of a lacking stock, especially when it came to Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan, of course, now in San Antonio. But they were nothing before Ujiri got there. That is not a coincidence. He has done a great job as the GM and president of the Raptors. He's also been linked to the Wizards opening. So look, if you're the Lakers, you, you try and get this guy on board because he might be looking to leave Toronto. There's a good chance Kawhi Leonard is not going to stay in Toronto. That puts the Raptors into an instant rebuild. Lakers are trying to win now. Rob Polinka, I like you, man. I, you can't be running basketball operations for the Los Angeles Lakers. It, it's just too big of a job. I know that Jeannie Buss has spoken highly of Polinka, but Masai Ujiri is synonymous with winning. He is, this is the best stretch in Raptors history. I think this would be a great hire for the Los Angeles Lakers to go this route. And especially if other teams are interested, the Wizards, look, the Lakers are still the Lakers. The Wizards are a mess. I think if you're the Lakers, you do everything you can to get Masai Ujiri. If you're just uh, popping in here, I want to hear your guys' reaction. Monty Williams choosing the Suns before the Lakers even make a final decision. Look, Phoenix just hired a, fired a coach after one year, and Monty Williams is choosing to go to Phoenix before the Lakers even make a final decision. Type V for very worried, type N for not worried. It's, I think on a scale of one to 10, it's a six or seven for me. It's concerning that a guy is going to Phoenix before the Lakers even make a decision, considering he's one of the top candidates. I wanna hear from you guys in the comment session. All right, let's finish things up with more of a fun story. Tired of all that business stuff. We'll see if the Lakers end up hiring as their Ned head coach. Dwight Howard has spoken out recently, says Kobe Bryant did everything better than Jordan across the board. Look, Dwight, I like you, man. You're probably going to go into the Hall of Fame. You've declined as a player, certainly, in recent years. The demise of your career actually kind of started when you joined Kobe and the Lakers in that 2012-2013 season. We all know how that ended up with th that team and Mike D'Antoni running that ship. The irony of this, Dwight, is Michael Jordan's numbers are better across the board. Much better shooter from the field, three points virtually the same, free throw the same, obviously has the more six for six in titles. I'll ask you guys, the Lakers fan, I know how you guys feel about Kobe Bryant. Is Kobe Bryant the GOAT? Feel free to comment down below in the comment section. I love Kobe, top 10 player all time, all time. not better than Michael Jordan. 
This show is brought to you by WagerTalk. Go to wagertalk.com slash chat sports for expert picks and predictions on games. You can get a daily pick package for free. Again, that's wagertalk.com slash chat sports. Go to wagertalk.com slash chat sports.